Hello everyone and welcome to my second ever sketchbook tour. This is my sketchbook number 20. As you can see by the number down here, I kept the cover very, very simple. Put sketchbook 20 in the back as I started doing with my more recent sketchbooks. Um, this is my second sketchbook tour on this channel. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So this right here is I guess the cover page, but I have a more official cover page. This is just for the dates. In this sketchbook, I started doing abstract watercolors for the first time. Um, well, maybe not for the first time, but for the first time that I actually wanted to do it. Um, so I had a lot of fun doing those and they are all very, very much inspired by Creation CC, as is, will be more obvious in the later ones if you know her work. And if you don't, I recommend you checking her out. She's really, really, really cool. Her art is so pretty. Um, so I did this sketchbook from the 3rd of July 2021 and I finished it on the 13th of January 2022, so just a few days ago. And in, after the sketchbook tour, I actually want to break into my new sketchbook, which will be sketchbook 21. So let's do that. Um, this is my actual cover page, um, so where it says sketchbook 20, and I drew my persona or myself, whatever you want to call it. I call her Fee just because I find it really odd to say I draw myself but that's just me <laughs> I think that's a me problem <laughs> um, so I drew her and then mixed it with this abstract technique that I've been learning so this is not the first page that I actually drew as usual I do not start with the first page this is the first spread that I actually drew on um, I participated in art fight in 2021 so art fight is always in July uh, every year and it's it's a website where you upload your characters, your OCs, and you get assigned to a team uh, randomly usually, or if you, um, I think you can also choose which team you're in during a certain time frame before the event starts, but I got assigned randomly. And um, yeah, so this was the first art fight attack I did. You attack the other team by drawing a character from a person on their team, and they can revenge the attack by drawing your character to get back the points essentially um, as you get points depending on how much effort you put into the drawings you have like a checklist um, it's it's pretty cool i really enjoy it and then i just filled up the page uh, or the spread with bird studies um, and this is my least favorite spread of the whole sketchbook um, i think it looks kind of messy uh, but that's okay i still don't hate it it's just my least favorite i guess um, this spread I drew Esmeralda, um, which is my plant right here. Um, she's, when I first got her, she was like the first plant I got. And for some reason I really wanted to name her. So I named her Esmeralda. I have other plants now. I, I did name them, but I'm not really that attached to them. <laughs> and I, I gave her a persona or a personification, another persona. Um, and I just wanted to draw her again. So I made a little spread of Esmeralda and I think she's, she came out really cute and I really, really like this spread. I think it came out really, really nicely. And this is my art fight stuff. For the art fight stuff, I always have the name of the characters, or the character if it's just one, and the person who owns them uh, somewhere on the page, usually in the at the bottom. Um, and it's the, the, it's the art fight handle they have. By the way, if you can hear piano in the background, that's my roommate playing piano right now. <laughs> um, it's the art fight handle. I was thinking about doing the Instagram handle. There it is too for her. Um, but my, some people don't have Instagram or didn't link it on their art fight. And so I just decided to keep it consistent and always use the art fight handle. So that's what I did. Here's my art fight stuff. This is Hanske and Elma. Um, Hanske is my uh, Boku no Hero Academia OC and his girlfriend belongs to Arimatic on Instagram. And her art is so pretty and you should check her out. It's really cute. And yeah, so I just drew them. I think they're really cute. I love them. Um, this is my art fight. This is Natalie and Hikaru. Um, so my uh, magical girl OCs, I guess, and Hikaru is a magical boy, but not the topic. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's them. And then I did some bed studies. I really wanted to draw beds. Uh, I took references from Pinterest here because I usually use line of action for my studies, not sponsored. <laughs> I really like line of action, um, but I couldn't, I didn't know what to choose because you have like something to choose from and you can like do animals but I, they didn't have like a bad option so I just looked for bad references myself and they only drew four but uh, that's more than nothing <laughs> um here's my art fight so it's my character Natalie with uh, Roxy who 
belongs to that person, Hayden Lux on Art Riot. Um, and I just found that from the description Roxy had, they had a similar energy, so I wanted to draw them together. And then I did some dog studies with line of action, two minutes each, um, just with a red pen. Uh, yeah. And bird studies, same thing, same thing. And here's, again, my OC, Sikaru, Lissidi, and Natalie. And I'm really happy with how this drawing turned out. Um, I had to stick over a piece of paper over her head because it was just way too big. It looked really weird right next to hers. And it's still a little bit big uh, compared to her head. Or maybe hers is just too small. I'm not sure. Definitely, um, I, I really like this drawing. It, it's a bit sad that I had to cover it up because it makes the page look a bit messy. But other than that, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. And here's Hikaru, just some sketches, drawings of him. Um, don't have much to say about this. I don't, I don't really like the spread, so let's move on. This is my teddy that I fed since I was like a literal baby. <laughs> um, and he's still with me to this day. I've, he's sleeping in my bed every single night. And I take him to friends for sleepovers and everything. And he's kind of beat up. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, that's fine. I love him. I wanted to draw him. I drew him. And this is my artfight stuff again, just some magical boys. Thought it would be fun to draw together, so I did. Some studies from artfight again. Really don't like how this turned out, but horses are hard to draw. I don't know what to tell you. It's really difficult, so. Yeah, some monkeys, apes, whatever. Um, again, from artfight, uh, not from artfight, from line of action. Um, mi mixing up these websites, but that's okay. Um, and then I just really wanted to draw circles. I have this template where you can just trace circles from and that's what I did. No reason, just wanted to do it, so I did. And this is kind of the start of me wanting to do more abstract stuff, um, I guess. <laughs> and then I just kind of made bubbles out of it, which is shading, shading, but it wasn't originally planned. I just wanted to draw circles. I don't know. This is just vent art. This is how I do vent art. I draw my persona fee. Um, with whatever expression, what I'm feeling in the moment, bachelor stuff is stressful, it is, it's very stressful, I'm writing my bachelor thesis right now, but I drew these specifically when I was still in like bachelor preparation in the sixth semester, so last semester. Um, yeah, but just went out, don't have much to say about it. Um, more studies from Line of Action again, two minutes each. And this is Hikaru and Yua, which are just magical girl boy people, fighters, <laughs> of these that I have, again, I, I've drawn them a lot in the beginning of the sketchbook, but later on I didn't draw them that much anymore. More vent art, more vent art, vent art I did earlier that year before I had the sketchbook, but I just printed it out, stuck it in, because I was feeling it in the moment. My, my main team of my magical fighters, I'll call them fighters from now on, <laughs> um, with their pride flags. I just wanted to do it so I did and here just put on stone some watercolors randomly and whenever I do that for these random blotches of colors I usually see fish of, or birds fish or birds is usually what I see so this time I just made uh, fish out of it not birds that's the wrong thing I made fish out of it um, yeah I <laughs> it's something I don't hate it um, this is pretty cool this is drawn on stone paper so it's paper not made of trees but of stones um, of recycled stone too, so uh, it's more environment, of, uh, environment friendly than using normal paper made of trees. Um, and I bought a notebook of it thinking to use it as my sketchbook, as this sketchbook trendy actually. Um, but I, what I didn't like about it is that I knew beforehand that it wouldn't be absorbent, so that watercolors wouldn't work very well on it. And also it shines through really, really badly. Um, I can show you on the back side in a minute. Um, so I uh, just cut it out and stuck it in here and I will use the stone book paper for something else. But if you're interested, I recommend checking it out because it's, it feels really good to draw on because the paper is really, really smooth. Um, and then I just drew some birds here because I thought it would fit this angel theme that we have going on. So this is Lavinia, who is like my first character that I consistently drew, um, who has like a design. <laughs> so I, usually call her my first OC ever, even though that's not in, in, not inherently true, but yeah. So here's the back page, and I don't know if you can see, I think the camera picks it up. You can like see the back page, uh, on the back page you can see what's on the other side, and that's something I really didn't like about the stone paper. 
which is why I stuck another piece of paper, this is uh, watercolor paper over it to have something on the back side without actually drawing on it so that the drawings wouldn't interfere with one another. Um, and this, I just wanted to swatch my Winston Newton watercolors. Um, I always buy the same ones, so I didn't really have to swatch them. I knew what they would look like, but I wanted to swatch them in the sketchbook again. Um, and when I put off the uh, washi tape, the paper ripped um, and then I hated it because it didn't look clean and nice. So what I did was I just decided to mess up the page even more and it worked. I really like this page now. I went on Pinterest, looked for a reference to like draw this person in front of it, um, do some lines, just put down more random splotches of color and now I think it looks really cool. It looks artsy, I like it. It was a success. This little guy appeared in one of my dreams. I wouldn't necessarily call it a nightmare, but it wasn't that pleasant of a dream. <laughs> He was kind of creepy. He was like this big, spider-like, not a good vibe. He likes spaghetti, question mark, I don't know. Um, and I drew him to show my roommate what he looked like because my roommate also appeared in that dream. Um, and then after that, I drew some other creepy qualities, uh, did some studies. I should have done this first because then he would would have come out better, but that's fine. <laughs> we live and we learn. Um, he got again with some blue shadings. I wanted to try this out. I've seen this in another artist's video and I thought it looked really cool. So I went for it. And then I drew Kali. I drew a lot of Kali in the sketchbook and I feel like I really figured out her character better. And that makes me really happy. I like Kali a lot better than I did before. <laughs> um, this is more outfit stuff. So I have nothing to say about this, just outfit. Outfit is cool. Check it out if you want to. <laughs> this year, uh, it's always in July. <laughs> More outfit stuff. This is the last bit of outfit stuff. And now we have more Cardi. <laughs> I'm really happy with these sketches. I think they turned out so nice. And even more Cardi. And this I drew when I was on the airplane uh, with my family going to going to holidays. <laughs> and I just had like my sketchbook and a red pen and drew. <laughs> and I really like this little sketch of Natalie. Lucidi and Hikaru, I think it's so cute. And then after we landed and everything, and a few days later, I put down some color and put down the yellow paint to put the sketches in the foreground more. I really like it. I think it turned out nice. Summer studies, used line of action again, of course, as always. <laughs> I always use line of action again. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> I just really like the website. And if you want to do studies, I highly, highly recommend it. It's really great. Here I drew Hikaru in cute, like, two <laughs> shirts that I think I've seen on Pinterest. Um, and I just thought it would be cute to draw a minute, so I did. And here I drew my Persona Fee, or myself, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, in my swimsuit. Um, so I was still on holidays there, um, and it was really warm. And we were in Greece, it was really nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. Here's Caitlin with her boyfriends, uh, Leas and Tyler. They're in a poly, uh, poly relationship. They are all together. It's, they're very cute. They're in my Dirty Mind video, which is my most viewed video on this channel. I mentioned that in the last video as well. My roommates are really loud out there right now. If you can hear them, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were in my Dirty Mind video, which is the view, most viewed video on my channel. and it, kind of blew up. I don't know what happened. It did. It, thank you if you came from there. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's them. I love them. I love drawing them. This is Sophie and David with Sophie's Twins. Um, they were my chipmunk OCs. In my heart, they will always be my chipmunk OCs. So when I was 13 to 16, I had a major, major Elvin and the Chipmunk fangirl face <laughs> where I made like a bunch of chipmunk OCs and Sophie was my main OC and I decided to repurpose her and her sisters too but I didn't draw them yet um, as magical girl OCs for the story that I have with Hikaru and Natalie, Lucidi, Tala, Kali um, and so I drew them and I love them I think they're so cute um, and David is actually going to be Hikaru's guitar teacher um, and Sophie will be like a general mentor figure as well because she's a more experienced older magical girl so the others can like rely on her a bit. <laughs> um, here's the first watercolors, the first abstract watercolors I did. I did other what kinds of watercolor before. Um, again, highly, highly inspired by Creation, Creation CC. 
um, as you can see if you watch your videos and I recommend it if you're interested in this kind of stuff because they're really nice. So yeah, happy with how these turned out. Here's just two more. Um, for the text I always just wrote whatever came to mind, didn't think about it too much. Um, here I did some environment studies. Um, I suck at drawing environments and I hate doing it. I just have no fun doing it. So uh, I decided to try it. <laughs> Every now and then I decide to try um, and just do some quick sketches, uh, of course with reference. Um, and then I just yeeted some color over there, <laughs> tried to make it look somewhat interesting. Um, they're not terrible, but I still hate doing environments. <laughs> is my takeaway from that. Here's Ikaru in a watercolor painting. And I think I also used gouache for this, but I'm not entirely sure if this is a mixed media kind of deal, but gouache and watercolors function in a similar way. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really like the way I did the shading. I think it looks really nice, really, really proud of this still. <laughs> and here's just some Hikaru drawings in the chibi format. I think it's very cute. And here I drew Natalie Lucidi Hikaru. Um, as chibis again. If you wonder why I keep drawing these three together and not with the other two, it's because these three are in the team first and uh, Tala and Kali join later. So that's why I keep drawing them together. Um, and it's just some sound lyrics. Here's the song, if you're interested. I thought it would fit Higaru. So um, I drew them and I think it came out really cute. And this one, I really like. It looks like it could be a sticker. And I think that's cute. Here's Tala, because I didn't draw Tala a whole lot in the sketchbook, so I wanted to draw her. Here I drew, and it's really long, and I will not be able to show it all off on camera, uh, even if I put Asmi Lala away, it will not work. Um, I did a motion study um, with, what I did is I used, uh, I looked up um, Delay videos on YouTube and what you can do on YouTube, which I only found out for another YouTube video actually, I didn't know that, is that you can skip through the individual frames by hitting uh, full stop and comma. And uh, I did that, so I skipped always like three to four frames ahead and then drew the next image, drew the next image, drew the next image until I decided to stop because it was getting too long. Uh, but I had a lot of fun doing this. It was, it was a good experience. <laughs> I would definitely do it again. It was a lot of fun. And here I drew Tala as a chibi because I drew the others as chibis over here and I thought it looked so cute. So I wanted to draw her as a chibi as well. And this is just another uh, motion study, but this time with Hikaru and his guitar. <laughs> um, this is a digital drawing, obviously, that I did and printed out. I was really proud of it. So I wanted to stick it into my sketchbook Plus, I just wanted to fill a page. <laughs> Sometimes it is just like that, you know? Um, and these I probably did while I was like waiting for something. Um, I don't remember, but that's when I did these sketches. I was probably nervous because most of these look a little bit nervous to me, um, except for this one <laughs> for some reason. And then I just needed some color over there later. Most fun, can't complain. Um, here, I'm pretty sure I drew something that I hated and I wanted to cover it up. So I just put some colors over there. I did that again later. It's a good technique to just make a mess of the page um, and do some pretend like you know what you're doing kind of thing. Um, instead of just leaving the page as, as it is. Unless you like doing that, then go for it. It's your sketchbook. <laughs> I like to try to make every page look somewhat interesting and not hate them. <laughs> so um, sometimes stuff like this, is what works. Sometimes you just stick another piece of paper over there. Whatever works for you, you know. Um, Lissidi and NASA merge. <laughs> I think it's very cute. I wanted to color this originally uh, because these sweaters actually exist, but I didn't. <laughs> um, I just put some blue stars in the background. Um, more vent art, like I said, this is how it do vent art. I have nothing more to say. I I hope I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess that's what I was feeling. Um, more Kali sketches. And then this, uh, for my bachelor thesis, I drew with kids, uh, mostly creature design. Um, all my thesis is creature design, but not all of the kids drew creatures. And I just kind of drew them. So this is what these next few pages are, and it will also come back in a later spread, I think. Um, it was a really, really great experience. I had so much fun working with the children um, and they came up with so much cool stuff. <laughs> I love some of these so, so much. 
So yeah, and this is just me. <laughs> there was this space in the page, so I just drew myself. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing with the children. This um, is are my these are my Halloween OCs, so it's Kara, Shu and Bong. And I we drew the same drawing three years in a row, I think. I think it's three. Um, and 2021 was the first year, and so it would have been the fourth year, but I didn't finish it. I started it um, also a bit later than I usually do. So I started it like in the middle of October. Instead of usually I try to get it done for the 1st of October because then Inktober starts, but I didn't participate in Inktober last year. So that's already a thing. Um, but I still wanted to redraw it, but then I didn't feel like finishing it. <laughs> so it's just here. Um, but I still like it. I think the line out turned out nice. I will put the other ones on screen if they're not already. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's nice and I like it. And this is a zombie apocalypse OC that I will probably never use for anything at all. I will not write a story about him or anything. I will not even attempt. <laughs> um, I just wanted to make one. I, I just wanted to. So I did. Here he is. Um, this is one of my <laughs> Digimon OCs. So um, I'm a major Digimon fangirl, if you didn't know already. Um, and I joined a Digimon roleplay server in 2021 and I actually did a animatic animation thingy for it um, because it really, really gave me so much creative energy to be in the server somehow. So you can check that out somewhere up there probably um, if you want to. And this is one of my OCs, so it's Juan and Choco and they're very cute. He's like an, a shy, angry boy, but his heart is in the right place. <laughs> I love him. Um, I had a lot of fun drawing them together. Here's more of these creature designs that I did with the children. Some of these are so cool. Like, <laughs> these children are so creative. It was so much fun. Um, this is just me waiting. I was waiting for something. Um, I was nervous about it, so I did some sketches. I have nothing to say. Um, on this page, so when I drew with the children, Sometimes I would draw in my sketchbook to try and explain th things for them. And I specifically did this in this spread. Um, and I knew that I couldn't just erase it and I didn't like it because it was like just very simple sketches of whatever, whatever the kids wanted to draw. <laughs> um, and I wanted to explain it to them without drawing on their paper. So I just covered it up with an abstract art piece, I guess. Um, I used my Tombow brush pens for this and then just a water brush. And uh, this is what came to be, um, time flies, because why not? Uh, didn't know what else to write, was the first thing that came to mind, that's what I wrote. <laughs> so yeah, more Juan and Choco, don't have that much to say about this. Um, I was at my parents' place at this time for the holidays, so I just did some sketches. Um, this is my other Digimon OC, Anna. Anna is a massive self-insert, just saying. <laughs> and uh, she, in the server, the characters can get like a weapon um, throughout like the role plays. And someone in the server suggested that she would get, get like a whip for her lion because her Digimon looks like a lion. Oh, it's, very, it's, it's very obviously based on a lion. And um, that she could get a whip for it. But because she's only 10, she confuses it for a jump rope. And I thought that was so fun. And I drew something for this later at the sketchbook as well. I think it might be on the next page. We'll see in a second. Um, and I drew her with her whip, but for some reason I wanted to draw her as like a fusion kind of thing with her um, Digimon Apollomon, um, just because I think it thought it would look cool. And it does, it makes no sense, but it looks cool. So, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, there it is. Um, so this is another sketch that I did at my parents' place of Juan and Choco with the lyrics uh, of a song that I thought would fit him. And I originally didn't want to color it. I liked the sketch so much that I was scared to go in with color. And I thought I could color digitally when I get back home um, because at my parents' place, I didn't have like my digital drawing tools available. Um, but then I was like, what if I just put like a faint wash of color over there to like suggest shading or whatever. Um, and in the moment that I tried doing that, I imme immediately started coloring it properly. So, and I, I like it, so it worked out. <laughs> it all worked out. Um, and here's the drawing of Anna and Elio. That's what her German is called, that's his nickname, uh, using the whip as a jump rope. And I actually made an animation of this as well. So I'm going to put that on screen. 
And I think they're just so cute. In the animation, I had so much fun animating the fire. Um, it was just a great experience. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, here's Anna and Darius, who is another character in the server that I'm role playing with. Uh, so he's not my character. And uh, I wanted to draw them together with uh, Sanwan, so that's Elio in an <laughs> earlier stage. Um, and here I did, so it was on the same day or just a day after, I think it was on the same day as I drew this, which is why they have essentially the same theme with a triangle and everything. Um, I, I tried to do something like this again, but it overpowered the spread so much that you, you wouldn't look at this anymore. Um, and I just, it looked really muddy and kind of gross and I didn't like it. So what I did is I stuck over um, some transparent paper to lighten up what's behind and then I drew over it again. Um, and I think it turned out really nice. I do like the outcome. I actually did this again later, just a few pages from here, um, because we're almost done. <laughs> this is, I don't have much to say about it. I was trying to design a character. Um, don't like any of these sketches. Uh, I do like the sketches individually. Like I really like these, um, but I don't like them for the character I was going for. So I'll have to experiment with more with, with that one. Um, some figure studies just because I needed to fill this last spread. Uh, yeah, I don't know. These are a lot more messy than the ones that I did earlier in the sketchbook, probably because I didn't do any figure studies in between. <laughs> um, well, well, in the sketchbook that I had before this one, I also did figure studies and everything. So yeah, I, they're, they're really messy, but that's fine. Two minutes each again. And here I did the same thing with the transparent paper. What I did was I used this page originally to swatch my pens um, whenever I would draw to like know what color they are or if they didn't write or whatever. Um, and I wanted to like make something abstract out of it and it became really muddy really fast and looked just disgusting <laughs> I didn't like it. So I stuck over this transparent paper again, traced some lines that I was seeing through it. Um, and I was glued in some scrapbooking paper over here and just wrote Shamrock, which is planned. Um, just is to fill it just to make it look kind of artsy. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's the sketchbook. That is that. This is what I've been up to in traditional art at least because I don't I don't draw anything else traditionally. I do not draw on scrap paper, which is why this little pocket in the back is always empty. Um, when I draw on scrap paper, I always glue it in. So I will not, I usually won't draw on like a bigger piece. Um, that can't fit. So this is my traditional art journey um, for the past few months. And what we're going to do now is I have this new sketchbook. I'm going to put this one away, shading them. So it's again a Moleskine sketchbook as this one was and my previous one as well. And my previous, my sketchbook number 19 was a red one and this one is the blue one. So I decided to get the only color that I didn't have yet, which is the black one. And that's what we're gonna open now, if I can manage. There we go. So we're opening this. So this is again, not sponsored, just saying. I just always buy the same sketchbooks. Um, I mean, before these most guys, I bought other ones, which were A4. I showed one of them just briefly. Um, in my last sketchbook tour, uh, but recently I really like these um, until I will try out a new one and then I will probably only get that one unless I don't like it. <laughs> um, so it's a mouse kind sketchbook. It's, I already know these, it's the usual, it has this little cover thing. And this is what we got, an empty new sketchbook. Always exciting. <laughs> so what I always start with. I write the number. So this is my sketchbook number 21. So the number goes down first. And then I will just put the date of today in pencil so that I can make this look nice later if I want to, which I don't always do. Sometimes I want to, sometimes I don't. Um, and what I'll do now, I will skip the first spread 
this one because this will be my cover spread that I will not use until later. <laughs> um, I will go to line of action to film my first spread with studies because that's what I like to do um, when I don't know what else to draw just to like break into the sketchbook and I don't know what else to draw today so that's what's gonna happen so here's line of action and again this is not sponsored um, I just really like the website I managed to open it I will just take this blue pen because I, I have it and I I find that it's better to draw and pen when you do studies because then you don't you can't fix your mistakes as easily and you don't focus on the mistakes so much um, you just keep going because you have to there's like no other option so I like to go with pen and I will just do some animal studies of I don't know rodents today I do not show life and uh, I will not show skeletons because I don't like that and I will give myself two minutes each and then I'll just get to drawing. So I really like doing just some quick studies at the beginning of my sketchbook like I said because they take off the pressure of breaking into the sketchbook really really nicely for me at least. I mean everyone likes to do different things um, this might not work for you at all, especially if you don't like doing studies. I hated doing studies not too long ago. Honestly, line of action was the reason why I stopped hating doing studies, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I used to do like a class a day because I have the class option. Um, again, I, I just want to really, really tell you that this is not spun that. Um, because I feel like it feels it might be <laughs> like line of action sponsor me if you want to. I, I'll take it any minute <laughs> I love your I love this website um, two months might be too much I still have so much time and I already don't know what to do I mean this is by no means perfect but it's not supposed to be um, it's just a study and if this is your first time doing studies if you also want to do that that is um, remember always that it, it doesn't need to be perfect and that you will get better um, at it because like these are obviously not perfect um, as well but I obviously used to be rough at them actually I think I'm doing it I'm going to give me less time I think this is too much time um, I used to be terrible at doing studies quite frankly as with everything when you do it for the first time I will give myself one minute each. I think that's better. Um, and the point of studies is that you're getting better at it one step at a time. I try to do studies every day for a certain amount of time and it really helped me. It was great. Um, so like I said, I did these class classes that they have where you have, I think I did like half an hour classes um, and then you have some 30 second studies, uh, two minute studies. I think the longest is 10 minutes. The last one was always 10 minutes. Um, and it's, it's really, really helpful to just get into it. And it's, it's also great for warm ups when it's your first time drawing that day. Do studies. <laughs> what I'm saying is do studies. Don't necessarily use line of action for it. That's just what I use. Um, another good page that I've used before is quick poses. I just use line of action out of habit. This drawing, is, uh, this drawing, this photo is so blurry. Wow, okay. That's fine. I'll just also not draw the face because I can't see it. <laughs> um, might just be my screen though, to be honest. My screen might be too dark. I did rodents, right? Am I, isn't this a monkey? There's primates. That's the monkey category. <laughs> I'm a bit confused, but that's fine. What's this? I'm already done. Oh, I don't want to continue on this. I'm going to skip to the next one. Why did I press primates? I wanted rodents. I'm going back. I messed up. 
I guess they are way the underneath. Yes, this is this is what I want. A rodent. I usually like to watch other art YouTubers when I draw or do these studies, just have them run in the background. I think it's really, really nice to have art YouTubers run in the background <laughs> when I work, when I also draw. It feels like I'm the drawing alone then. Um, so I just really like it. And it, it feels really quiet right now. <laughs> Hedgehog. One of my closest friend's favorite animals are hedgehogs. <laughs> he will appreciate this one. Shout out to my friend whose favorite animals are hedgehogs. You know who you are. <laughs> I do not know how to make this look like spikes and not like fur, but that's okay. By the way, I'm, I'm certain that a lot of people have tuned out by now, <laughs> the ones that were only interested in my sketchbook tour, which is completely fine. Um, no pressure to stay. <laughs> um, but for those of you that are still here, tell me if you're interested in just having me do videos where I draw um, and kind of talk every now and then, <laughs> I guess, um, like right now, just what I'm doing right now this exact thing because I would like to be more active on YouTube but I quite honestly never know what to do or talk about um, and if this is something you're interested in like I'd be down probably <laughs> whenever I find time and motivation quite frankly like I love YouTube but I have other things to do <laughs> another friend of mine has bunnies as their favorite animal. I guess rodents was really the right way to go. Shout out to you too. <laughs> oh, look at this little guy. So cute. Two of my friends that also do art. We've been thinking about doing art videos together, but obviously I would be the one to have to organize it since they would run on my channel <laughs> um, and somehow I just never do it even though I think it would be so much fun to just draw with them um, like with the same prompt or something like a while ago we did Pokemon starters together um, that was way before we had the idea to do art YouTube together um, and that would have been such a cool video, to be honest. It would have been really fun. Should have probably gone for bigger animals because then I would already be done. Because I do tend to, when I know that the animal is small, to draw them smaller too. Like I know that these little guys, they're not big, so I want to draw them small. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. I can just draw them bigger as well, but. It's something completely subconscious, to be honest. Something I'm aware of that by now, but it's something that I just noticed by doing my studies that I do that. I don't know if everyone does that or if that's just me. <laughs> Surprisingly, this video was a lot easier to do for me than the last one, even though I didn't do any kind of recordings in between. And I thought it'd be just as awkward as last time. At least it feels like I'm less awkward. You tell me if I'm actually less awkward. <laughs> I guess I'll also see it when I edit this. Um, I feel more comfortable. It makes me want to do more videos like this, where I just talk, but I never know what to talk about. Like I said, <laughs> I just mentioned that. <laughs> My roommates are so loud. <laughs> I love them, but sometimes they're really loud. But it's okay. If I would tell them to shut up, they would. I 
I assume that you can't hear them anyway. What you might be hearing is the noise of my computer <laughs> because that's also really loud and that's a lot closer to the microphone. <laughs> and if you do, I'm sorry, I don't have that high quality microphones and I don't have a good recording setup to be honest. I'm just doing this for fun. If I'll do this more in the future, like if I actually get into it, I will probably invest into like more high quality stuff. But as of right now, that's just not happening. <laughs> and you and I both have to deal with this. I really, really like breaking into new sketchbooks. I know a lot of people think it's scary. Um, and a lot of people just take really long to finish a sketchbook, which is completely fine. Like one of my friends, uh, we gifted him a sketchbook for his birthday, like three years ago, and it's still not even remotely finished, as far as I know. Um, but that's completely fine. Some people just don't like filling sketchbooks. And he does a lot of digital stuff as well, so it just makes sense. Um, if he sticks more to digital, but there will be more or less stuff in the sketchbook. I just try to keep a balance because I really like traditional as well. I've had this one already. When I messed up, when I had it two, two minutes and I just one, which wasn't really, I didn't mess up. I just didn't think that one minute would be enough. What it is. <laughs> I don't like how the snout came out. It is way too big, but that's just how it is. Just continue, push through. There will be another one in literally 30 seconds. And they can't all be winners. Another one of these little guys. Honestly, just doing studies could be a thing for streams as well. But I think streams are scary <laughs> because I wouldn't have to think about what I'm drawing. I would just do this. And I guess if it was about what to draw people in the stream could also later on suggest stuff this would have just before like the start but streams are scary i wouldn't do it alone i think i would have to have a friend do it with me then i would consider it <laughs> but i don't know if any of my friends would want to i think they also think streams are scary i think this is the last one and then I'll stop. Then I have enough on the page to call it a day. Well, not a day, but at least a spread. <laughs> Who knows how much I'll draw after finishing this video. So I know a lot of people don't like drawing on the first page. And as you've seen, I also don't. <laughs> at least not as the actual first page. I don't like to use it as my first, first page. Um, the first page I draw on is always the second actual spread it just takes off the pressure of making it look nice um, and these kind of study pages can be very easy to look interesting so i call this a day i say this is done i'm stopping the line of action i do want to exit and what i'll do now to make this look more interesting, which you've seen a bunch of times in my other sketchbook already. I'll take like a pen, maybe not blue, because I drew this and uh, I used blue as the color. Let me look for a different one. Yellow, let's use yellow. Yellow is good. And then I'll give them a backdrop. It honestly is such a simple way to make your sketchbook look more interesting. And I completely stole this from other sketchbook, 100%. Um, a lot of people do this. <laughs> this was not my original idea. Um, 
very obviously, <laughs> if you weren't away, I'm just going to point it out again. So we have mostly rodents and like two primates, I think. These two, because I messed up. <laughs> and then we just color this. These are the Ecoline brush pens, and I think they're really, really nice because they're water-based, so they don't shine through, they don't bleed through through the next page, and they also usually don't shine through unless you put down a lot, and I mean a lot of them, then you might have like a small little color splotch on the other side when they like bleed through. Um, but then you really have to put down a lot. Uh, but they're really juicy, and because of that you can get down an almost, not really, but kind of even coat. Um, which is something I really, really like. And we'll just kind of give the page a direction. And that alone already makes it look more interesting. And also, of course, just add some contrast. Um, which is always nice. Contrast is always good to have. And sketchbooks are just art in general. <laughs> it doesn't and like I'm not paying attention to making it look super clean at the edges. I'm kind of going around, but I'm not going like making sure that I'm going directly to the line or that I don't cross the line. So yeah. This is it. I usually put the time I had for each of these somewhere. So that's one minute for them. And then I could technically go on to the next page, but I won't do that now. Where's the little bookmark? It's in here still, hidden away. Where are you? There you are, I found you. Just put it to the next page because this page is now done. I have put the date, I have put the number, and this is it, this is how I break into sketchbooks. And now I can either do more studies, or just draw what I feel, or go to Pinterest to get inspired. Pinterest is really good to get inspired. Um, whatever, but I guess I'll, I'll stop for now, because this video is already long enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope that it wasn't boring. I hope that you found it interesting, somewhat entertaining. If you watch this in the background, completely valid. I do that all the time. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed my sketchbook tour and just a little demonstration of how I break into a new sketchbook. I will probably do something with this cover at some point and I will, of course, add something like this at the end. Um, or not at, uh, yeah, at the back, not at the end. Um, but I usually don't do the cover right away. That's just too much thought <laughs> that has to go into it. Um, even though this one I kept super, super simple. And the last one I didn't put that much effort into as well. I mean, I tried, but I messed it up. So then I didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is my sketchbook number 21. Really excited to like see how long this one will take me. Maybe I'll get it done faster. Maybe I don't, and that's also okay. We'll see. And this was my sketchbook number 20. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching so far if you did. Um, if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. You know how, the, how it goes, what everyone says, subscribe, like this video, uh, leave a comment. <laughs> I would like to interact with you. Uh, leave suggestions on what you want to see on my channel if there's anything you have in mind. Um, yeah, and thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was my pants just rolling around. I'm sorry, it scared me. Thank you so much for tuning in is what I wanted to say. Um, and I hope I see you next time, whenever that might be, because, you know, I don't have a upload schedule or anything. It might be in a week. It might be in a few months. Who knows? We'll see. But either way, thank you anyway, and I'll see you next time. Bye.